Okay, everybody, that was a great old piece of music called Sammy, Where Have You Been So Long? I learned that from the 1927-1928 recording of Doc Boggs that he made up in New York City for Lonesome Ace Records. Go check out Doc Boggs. Not sure what tuning Doc used on that. I'm in double C tuning right now. F, B flat, F, B flat, C. Doc may have been in that tuning. He may also have been in what's known as the Reuben tuning, old Reuben tuning, or drop D tuning. F sharp D, F sharp A D. I'm not sure which which one he used. Doc also used three fingers, and I'm I'm only a two finger picker, so anyhow, that's what I've done with that. Um, so it's it's basically it's it's a version of Last Gold Dollar or Mole in the Ground, and uh, here you basically uh, pretty much you're always you're you're holding this C C, uh, C chord, the old one finger C chord, or you go into that. F shape. Those are the two. And then it involves a slide down on the bass string to the fourth fret. But other than that, the whole song is on the second fret. So I like to start out holding that one finger C. And then I do a slide. Then I do a hammer on the third string at the second fret. Then the second string, second fret, uh, third string open. Then note the bass string. Then go back up and note it at the second fret. So that gives you Sammy, where you've been so long. Then you're going to go. So you kind of do the open third string, then note the third string at the second fret. Then you're going to ride the second string open a few times. Then back to the noted third string. And then the third string open. Then you're going to, I like to pluck off on the third string. Quickly play the second string open. Then hammer on the first string. Then do a double pluck on the first string. Then the second string open. Third string open. And then I come into that chord. Bass string open, and then back to that first little run you did. Oh, honey, where you been so long? Sammy, where you been so long? I've been to the west, I'm going back, I guess. Oh, honey, let me beg you, please don't go. And that's it. We also have we have an accompanying lesson where I'm going to teach you the overhand claw hammer approach to this song, which I call Last Gold Dollar. I learned that face-to-face -face from George R. Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky. George Gibson was born in 1938 in a log house. He learned Last Gold Dollar from a much older gentleman named Grand Hudson, who was a real wild party animal. So I'm going to link to that lesson right about now. So hop over there and check out how to play Last Gold Dollar. Okay, everybody. Thanks for looking. Well, I've been to the Shia Whitfire.